So before we start rigging, we're gonna wanna make sure that our mouth is properly separated to be layered. So as you can see here, I have a portion called the inner mouth and the outer mouth. And both sides are divided into a top section and a bottom section. So now let's get to actually rigging the mouth. We're gonna set up our mouth form and our mouth open parameters. So in our mouth form parameter, we wanna set it to negative one as your minimum and 1.2 as your maximum. For your mouth open parameter, you're gonna to wanna to set your minimum to zero and your maximum to 1.2. And then we're gonna to wanna to link the two. Now we're gonna make sure we grab everything for our mouth. Everything here is the inner mouth components up here, but we wanna grab all the outer mouth, com outer mouth components, which are these ones you see here. The uh, lip lines, the lips, and the lipstick, most importantly. Now we're gonna be setting up our mouth forms. We're gonna start with mouth form parameter. As you can see here, we're gonna set one at the beginning and one at the end. Then we're gonna set one at negative 0.5, one at zero, and one at positive 0.5. I forgot to record it here, but you also wanna set one at one exactly. Now we're gonna start doing our mouth open parameter. So you can see one at the beginning, one at the end, one at zero, one at 0 0.3. We're also gonna set one at one exactly. And we're gonna set one at 0.1. Now we're gonna actually start rigging the mouth. As you can see, I have my entire top mesh selected with the lip line selected. They are glued together, and I did talk about this in the previous tutorial of how to glue and make your meshes. Please refer to that if you don't remember. We're gonna grab our deform pathway here, our two points in the middle, and we're gonna bring our mouth to look more a neutral tone, sort of like a dead face. <laughs> and we're gonna put that at our middle parameter point in the bottom mouth. It'll be the bottom line at your parameter. It'll look like it's by the mouth open, but that's actually your mouth form shape. We're gonna now do the same, where we're gonna repeat it with the bottom lip and the lipstick. Then we're gonna move on to doing that for a smile, the other direction, or all the way down to a frown, which is what we're doing right now. As you can see, I'm lowering the top lip line and I'm bringing it down into a frown right now. We don't want it to be too strong of a frown, especially since we're not all the way at the bottom, but I just recommend going with what you feel looks the best. As long as your mouth forms relatively resemble what shape they're supposed to be at that point, for example, what vowel they're going for, you will be fine.
now we're gonna start rigging actually opening the mouth. What I have here is I've selected the top lip and the top lip line together like we did when we were doing the, uh, the smile and frown. And I'm now going to bring the bottom lip and the bottom lip line down. I'm going to just slightly open the mouth so it's got a little smile. I wrote down below in the description, I actually have a chart, a mouth open chart that you guys can reference when you're rigging up your mouth settings. Do that, but as you can see, I just have it so you have like a nice, heathy grin. Now I'm just duplicating up to the next parameter above and I'm just using Control shift c and Control shift v to paste the already existing parameter locations that I had made and I'm just going from there and I'll just keep going until the mouth is completely open up top. Now we're going to be bringing up the inner jaw. What I like to do is I will personally, because I don't use a bridger, I like to um, rig it in with the mouth forms and the mouth open parameters. What I'll do is I will personally go in and in my mouth open, I will set it to the most open and the most closed parameters. And as you can see, I do the same with the mouth open parameter. So what you should end up having in each corner is dots along the top, dots along the bottom, but there should be no dots in the middle. As you can see, I messed up a little bit here and I will correct it a little bit later, but this is what works best for me. And now what I'll do is I'll pick the topmost when the mouth parameter is set to fully open and I will drag everything that's the bottom jaw straight down. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start adjusting where things are. I like to grab the tongue first so I can make it look more um, dynamic. As you know, your bottom jaw is actually on a hinge, so it will actually be slanted. So that means your back molars will show up more and your and it will slant down from smaller to larger as they go more towards the front. That's just what I'm doing here. So your mouth form and mouth open parameters should look like this for your jaw. Then all you're gonna do is press on the open parts, Control Shift C and Control Shift V, and place it in the other dots that are still closed mouth at the top there. As you can see, you'll watch the jaw go down. And that's exactly what we want. And the next process is to just repeat for the rest of the mouth forms. This is a bit of a time consuming component when it comes to rigging your mouths. So please take your time and remember, Time for montage to get through it all. And I'll see you all when we're done montaging and breaking the rest of the mouth movements. Now that we're done rigging the rest of the mouth movements, as you can see, we have a big range of movements and variables with our mouths. Now the last part we have to do is we're going to make our shrug, which allows our mouth to give us a little shrug so we can go, mm, not really sure if I'm wrong about that. We're going to make a warp deformer and we're going to call it mouth shrug or pout slash shrug. And then we're going to just confirm that and we want to make sure that all of our outer mouth components are in this. So our lips, our lip line, our lipstick, anything that's part of our outer mouth. So we're just gonna add our mouth shrug to our mouth X parameter, which is just a simple point parameter where the minimum is negative one and the positive is one. And now this is really simple component. We are just going to grab our little green bars here and we're just gonna raise them up slightly on the side that we want the shrug to be more prominent and then we're going to lower it slightly on the other side to give us that nice little slant. I also do like to go in with the brush tool and just adjust things a little bit like the lipstick or the center point of the brush. To size it up just hold the and roll, drag it across your screen and you'll be able to adjust it there. 
Then all we're gonna do is we're gonna reflect the motion. You do that book on the top three bars here. Scroll down to reflect motion. And we don't need to reflect it, we're just gonna reflect it horizontally. I'm gonna press OK. And now if we go to the other side, perfectly reflected. And if we open our mouths, you can see it continues through any mouth shape or parameter that we've preset. And now you've done rigging your mouth.